Hi, my name is Robert Schofling, and today I'm here to talk to you about Boeing's KC-46 tanker. Uh, we're pleased to be here at Aero India, uh, introducing many new aspects of the tanker uh, to uh, the Indian Air Force and to many of the delegates that are here at Aero India. At Aero India, we've brought something pretty special. We've brought the Aerial Refueling Operator Station, uh, which is very much like the operating station that you would find on the KC-46 itself. Let me tell you a little bit about the KC-46. The KC-46 is the U.S. Air Force's uh, newest tanker. Uh, we will ultimately be delivering 179 tankers to the U.S. Air Force. We're going to deliver our first one this year and we'll deliver 17 more KC-46s to the U.S. Air Force in the beginning of 2018. The KC-46 is a very special airplane. It's the, it's the next generation of tankers. Boeing has a very long history of delivering tankers uh, to the U.S. Air Force. Uh, we've started in the late 1940s uh, and we continue through today. Uh, today, the Air Force's tanker fleet consists of KC-135s and KC-10s. The KC-46 is the replacement for the KC-135. The KC-46 is very special for three main reasons. First off, it's a combat tanker. It's ready to fuel the fight on day one. Between its defensive systems uh, and its self-protection, it's a very unique tanker that will enable the U.S. Air Force to employ it close to the battlefield. It, some of its self-defense and defensive measures, it can fly in nuclear, chemical, and biological environments, allowing uh, air forces around the world to be able to fuel their fighters and the airplanes they need to be fueled anytime, anywhere, in any condition. It's also got a very special multi-role capability. It can always give gas. It's special in that it always has a boom and a centerline drogue are always on the airplane, but additionally, you can add wing air refueling pods to both sides to give it more fueling capability so you can do multi-point uh, refueling. Uh, also part of its multi-role capability is it can carry cargo, it can carry passengers, and it can do aeromedical evacuations. It can do those separately, or it can do them all at once. It's got a huge cargo door where you can load uh, 463L pallets, much like on the C-17. So it's not just the tanker of today, but its versatility gives Air Forces more options with how to operate this airplane uh, than any options they've ever had before. It's also the most efficient and the most economical tanker to operate. Uh, over its lifetime of 40 years, uh, Air Forces around the world will be saving millions and millions of dollars due to its economical nature. It's also a very efficient tanker. Uh, it provides the best effective offload capability of any tanker uh, built in the world today. Another aspect that I want to touch on is that it starts as a tanker from day one. When they apply the very first rivet to that tanker in the factory, it is always a tanker. So what that means to customers out there is we build it in line. So we, we, it's not just a commercial airplane that we purchase from Boeing Commercial Aircraft and then turn into a tanker. It's built within Boeing Commercial Airplane and Boeing Defense Services as that tanker. What that means to the customer is you've got a tanker that's gonna fuel your fleet for 40 years and being purpose-built like it is, it is gonna last longer, it's gonna be easier to maintain, there's gonna be less stress and fatigue on it because we build it from day one as a tanker. We're working very closely with US Air Force on the test program. Uh, ultimately, the US Air Force will certify this tanker to be able to give fuel to 64 different types of airplanes. Virtually all the airplanes in the world it will be able to get fuel to, whether it's doing drogue refueling or whether it's doing boom refueling. So you know, in a nutshell, we think that the KC-46 tanker is the most, well, we don't think, we know the KC-46 tanker is the most advanced tanker out there, ready to network into your fleets, ready to fuel your fleets, ready to fight the fight.
Another special aspect about the KC-46 is that it's based off of uh, the world's most popular freighter, uh, the 767 freighter. Uh, with its huge capacity to carry cargo with its cargo door, but it's also about the size of the airplane, and that size matters. The KC-46 is able to get into more airfields than any other tanker. It's able to fly during more conditions than any other tanker. In other words, it's a very, very special tanker. Uh, we're so close to delivering it to the Air Force this year, and we're so excited to deliver it to the U.S. Air Force this year, that we, we think that it's going to be a very popular airplane tanker worldwide. Now, India is a special case. Um, India has run previous tanker competitions, and Boeing is extremely excited at the prospect of being able to compete in the next upcoming Indian Air Force tanker competition. There's some differences between previous Indian Air Force tanker competitions and today's Indian Air Force competitions. One of the big differences is the Indian Air Force now has the C-17 and the Indian Navy now has the P-8. The C-17 uh, can receive gas and the KC-46 is able to give the C-17 gas via its boom much like the P-8, which the Indian Navy uh, just uh, had a unique milestone where they just, since delivery in 2013, they've flown over 10,000 hours. The KC-46 will be able to give fuel for the uh, P-8. So it's an airplane that the Indian Air Force will find versatile, not just for its fighters and its Indian Air Force, but for the entire uh, Indian military uh, infrastructure. So we are encouraged at the upcoming competition. We're excited at the upcoming competition and we're in the competition to win.